Good evening. Welcome back, and this is Cam Cowboy. Tonight we have a special video. It's going to be a how-to guide for the ranges of castles that are 22 to 25 city level. Now this is a great video that could help you in Guns of Glory and King of Avalon if you are in this castle range or you're before this castle range you want to start looking at okay maybe this is like a good idea of where to begin where to look for and where do I go so I've mentioned it in a bunch of my other videos you know there's basically three types of spenders if you got the spender who has no budget you just buy everything and if you're in that type of spender I highly recommend you don't waste your time don't go to these lower um, areas and these lower thresholds you go for the things that will help you later on once you get to those higher levels then there's going to be the medium tier spender and this is the tier spender especially in this level where you're going to be above average you're going to be stronger than most other players at your castle level then you're going to have a low tier spender and at this castle level you can easily be on par with everyone else at your castle level and I mean if you go through and you see you can, you'll find a bunch of people in this castle range with relatively low stats so beating them out and getting above them is a great boost especially if you want to go and have some fun and kill event maybe you want to participate in the early levels of KVK ultimate alliance campaign there's many many different areas where your account and your stats are important thus it is extremely crucial that you get as much out of this video as you possibly could. So, first and foremost, where do you get your gear? Well, it's going to be your stats, primarily from your forge. So let's go ahead and take a look at some designs and see what we can do pending a very slow app player on my computer and see what we could do for getting some good gear. Okay, so if you're in this 22 to 25 range, where should you lie as far as gear goes? And the honest answer is purple or orange gear. This will set you on par to above par. Granted, don't take a look at what I'm doing here. I'm just moving along forward into the actual gear that you guys and give you guys an image to look at. So if you look at the purple weapon, for example, you'll see that it comes with four basic stats. When you go up a tier, you gain another stat, orange and then gold. And once you get to gold, you don't gain additional stats, you just gain higher percentages based on what you are crafting. So if you look at this, you'll see the first three stats, first two stats are relatively good. Great, but that's not really what I care for. So let's go ahead and take a look at the orange, and you'll notice it's the exact same first three stats. What are you getting? Distance damage. This is a great stat to have. Now if you look at the cost for these stats, you'll notice that it's relatively high. So, you know, once you get to 22 though, you're building up from the entire time that you're from city level 1 to city level 22. So with that being said, it's extremely important to go ahead and start building up towards this. Now if you take a look at the purple gear, you'll notice that the you know cost to craft is not as much. It's actually half if you're looking as far as basic materials and then special material wise. And then it's a slightly different bottom material which is a lot cheaper. Now the best ways to get this would be go ahead and do some red guards, kill some monsters constantly. Every single day your your stamina heals up really quickly, you'll get back up and you just keep grinding out those levels. Keep grinding them up. Start working up and saving towards your hero store and that way it will give you a bunch of great opportunities to be able to go buy those more expensive resources and items that cost gold. So with this being said, you have from city level 1 to city level 22 to work up towards this. Get the designs, figure out where you are once you get to city level 22. If you get to city level 22 and you can only afford purple, that's fine. Go with it. 
because if you don't go with it, you're going to be setting yourself behind par. You don't even have to spend any money to do this. And then if you're going to go, okay, well, now I finally have enough to go to orange. Is it worth it? Well, if you're still in this 22 to 25 range, yes, it is. Now, it might not necessarily be true for every single type of gear going from purple to orange. Some of the added bonuses that you get for orange just simply don't make the cost worth it. So for that reason, it just take it by case by case basis. Basis. Now, if you really, really want to be a strong competitor and you want to set up shop early, what I highly recommend is you go with the dual list. I myself was in this exact case. I was a city level 22 to 24 and I had all six piece duelists. And you know what? It makes the world of difference. This will set you well beyond the path of anyone else in a similar level. And you can get duelists through Lucky Shot. You can get them through the Noble Chest for doing aristocrat chests and badges from doing dailies and doing your monsters and red guards. And you could get the uh, special materials, uh, special gemstones for free. So I highly recommend that even if you are working for the purple and orange, you start making some headway on that duelist. So, you know, times are changing and with every single update, the lower levels start getting cheaper and they start releasing more newer levels for the higher spenders. But at this level, not necessarily worth it to go to those higher levels. However, at $200 a piece, you could get yourself Demon Hunter. Now, I highly recommend this if you want to start working towards that better gear early. It's going to be about $200 a piece right now. So, it's relatively... Based on your budget, you can make the decision yourself if you want to go ahead and go with that Demon Hunter set. So now, moving forward from this, you can see that, okay, it's all about judgment. How much do I want to spend? How far do I want to take my account? A lot of people are perfectly content with getting the city level 26 and stopping. You could easily have Demon Hunter 6-piece at city level 26. So you may as well go for it when you're at a city level 22 and be even more of a beast. Because, at the end of the day, it's all about having more pancake mix. So that will cover the equipment side of the show. And since equipment and gemstones go hand in hand, let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Excuse me for the deals of the day. I don't need to go into that. And we'll move along into the gemstones. So now, if you're looking at gemstones for your city level 22 to 25 range, I highly recommend that you go for hope gemstones. Try to fill up your plate. If you can't, just go ahead and substitute all of that with gemstones that you can get from, say, Lucky Shot. Or you get them from just doing your dailies and you, or special events that they have, and it would be very easy to fill it up. Remember, Bowman attack, cavalry attack. That's your attack in that priority. Number one is Bowman, number two is cavalry. For talking defense and health, number one is going to be your infantry, number two is going to be your cavalry. Never get that distance, defense, or health. And try to get some uh, good of those six sided pieces. If you can, try to get the equivalent of the Hobe. I believe it's the heroism gemstone. So try to get that and just fill them up. Four, level five, level six, whatever you can do. I would highly recommend though, that you try to fill up the entire plate first before you start going to those higher levels. Now if we're taking a look at, okay, if I'm doing this by piecemeal, piecemeal what's the best way, best route to go first? First off, set up your attack gemstones first. There's much fewer options and opportunities to get those attack stats, so I highly recommend and highly urge you to fill up those gemstone slots first. You will always, always lack in your stats with attack. Then from there, go one at a time 
Okay, am I lower in health or am I lower in defense? That answer is which one you put in first. The thing that you didn't put in first is what you put in second, and you just alternate that trip. As far as the six-sided pieces go, you get them when you get them, and that's about it. Those will be the first pieces that you take to six, above your attack. Your attack will be second to go to number, level six. So this will cover the equipment and the gemstones as far as level 22 to 25 range goes. So in summary, you want to strive to have purple or orange gear. If you're going to be spending, go ahead and get that duelist gear because you will be able to haste in the process at a relatively low cost to get to the duelist. So that's pretty much like a mid-tier spender is going to be your duelist. If you're a low-tier spender, maybe let's say you spend a couple dollars every month. Go ahead and buy the daily deals for the equipment and materials or buy some of the packs for equipment and materials. Help offset that cost that you're going to be seeing when you go to craft. And now if you're going to be a heavy spender, you might want to consider going to the Demon Hunter. Now as far as heavier spenders going for gemstones, I will cover that in the next video as far as the level 26 to 29 range goes. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest uploads. This is Camp Cowboy.